A Florida Keys artist has recently done an eight-mile swim to raise awareness for six aging lighthouses off the island chain. Now, he's known locally as Lighthouse Larry for his metal reproductions of the Florida Keys lighthouses. This man has a true passion for saving these structures. Larry, thank you for being with me this thank morning. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Let's, let's talk about the swim that you just did, Larry. It was uh, eight miles, uh, 3.9, uh, two alligator lighthouse and 3.9 back, eight miles and around trip. Uh, weather was perfect. Uh, the seas were calm and it, was, uh, it went well. I did it in five hours and 11 minutes. You're in good shape, Larry. Well, um, <laughs> the, but the lighthouses are in bad shape mm -hmm. is and why I did it. And that's why you did this. Exactly. Tell me about the lighthouses. Um, the lighthouses, the Florida Keys, we have six offshore iron structures, which we have the biggest collection of iron structures in the world, uh, lighthouses, and which three of them were built before the Civil War by General George Meade, who was the leader of the Union Army. Mm -hmm. And he defeated Robert E. Lee at Gettysburg, and he was the the builder of these lighthouses. And the significant value of their historic, you know, preservation is very much needed. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm trying to bring awareness to. Mm -hmm. Now, when did you start realizing that the lighthouses were in such bad shape, Larry? Well. Um, myself, I've lived here all my life since 1953, uh, 59, sorry, and I, you know, grew up around these lighthouses and uh, several, a couple of years ago a friend of mine asked me to come up with a artistic light for his jetty and I came up with the idea of doing alligator lighthouse knowing that he was an avid fisherman and diver and enjoyed alligator lighthouse, so I went out to take pictures of brackets and such that I need to really produce the exact replica of it. And in doing so, it really, I was taken back of how um, the, the structure is just completely rusted through and needs uh, to be restored before they fall. Mm -hmm. and, and then, you know, I researched other of the, other of the Keys lighthouses and in seeing the history, I was not even, you know, I didn't have the knowledge of the history either. And a lot of tourists don't know, and a lot of locals don't realize that all these structures were built in the mid 1800s. Right. That, that there's so much history there. No, uh, Carey's Fort off of um, North Key Largo was built in 1852, ten years before the Civil War. Carey's Fort. Um, is is the oldest in use iron lighthouse in America. Uh, Sombrero Lighthouse, which is the tallest of the six lighthouses, which is 158 feet tall, six feet taller than Alligator Lighthouse. When it was completed in 1858, it was the tallest all iron structure on the face of the earth until the Eiffel Tower was built 28 years later in 1886. Really? And to me, Sombrero was the first mm -hmm. Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. So uh, Sand Key off of Key West, again, it was started at the same time that um, Kerry Sport was started, but budgetary restraints moved it back a year, but it was built in 1853. I mean, these structures are 160 years old, and they're, they need to be preserved. They um, absolutely do. They are, I feel, responsible for Flagler's Railroad going to Key West, mm -hmm. because the, the lighthouses, before the lighthouses, Key West was very wealthy because of wrecking in the Florida Keys. Uh, they really, you know, had the, the the lot, uh, if you will, the you know of the wrecking of the ships, mm -hmm. and after, um, the, well, in the 1800s, 1803 was when the Louisiana land purchase went through, and at that time, um, it opened trade up from Louisiana through the you know the uh, uh, Mississippi River all the way 
along the coast of Florida to uh, New England, mm -hmm. and it completely exploded in trade. Well, the, the wrecking became so, um, you know, costly to these merchants that um, the Zaya uh, Thomas um, was a, um, a uh, congressman from Louisiana. He got pushed through Congress, the first lighthouse, mm -hmm. which was off of um, um, Dry Tortugas, which was on Dry Tortugas. The base is still there today, but uh, it had, you know they demolitioned it, and what's there today was the second lighthouse. But because they were losing so many ships on the, the Florida Keys reefs that they needed something done. So after the lighthouses were in, it trade was so safe that Congress deemed Key West a port of entry, which made Key West the richest town in America because the whole Caribbean, everyone had to go through Key West, and that's when Henry Flagler decided to put the railroad through. So, so these lighthouses are so important to be preserved, like you're doing. And we're running out of time right now, Larry, but I know you have one more swim coming up to help raise awareness. Right. I am uh, September 8th. I am going to swim from Sombrero Beach in Marathon around Sombrero Lighthouse and back, which is just short of 10 miles to bring awareness to Sombrero Lighthouse. And, you know, the public's welcome to come, you know, support a mm -hmm. kayak, a boat, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, just the more the merrier. And mm -hmm. hopefully, you know, Sombrero can get the attention it deserves. Okay. Wonderful. And if you want to do this, you want more information, check Larry out on Facebook. Just type the name you see at the bottom of the screen. Thank you so much, Larry, for sharing all this information oh, with our thank viewers. Thank you. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back with Dr. Becky after these messages.